what you should be applauding in your house by now. Well, I'm very sure you are seated in your couch. Welcome to the month of March and welcome to a brand new month. In fact, it's not just March, it is the Ghana month. It's a celebration of everything Ghanaian. Good morning one more time. Good morning, Jay. And today we will anchor you through the month of March and we are celebrating our own culture, Ghana month. This month we'll be talking about our food, our clothes, I mean the things that make us Ghanaians. And we have to be proud because we are Ghanaians. Oh yes, we have to be proud because we are Ghanaians. So in fact, for this whole month, if you have a, uh, you know, uh, let me say, if you have a, a, a foreign name or a, a white collar mm. name, mm. Put it aside. Mm -hmm. Today I'm Mensa. Mm. What is your name? I, should, I think I should call myself Nah. Nah. Because you know what? We are celebrating Greater Accra today. Yes. We want to talk more about Greater Accra. And every woman in Greater Accra is called Nah. So today I carry on the name Nah. So if you meet me in town, just call me Nah and I'll respond. Oh yes, and talking response. Right behind us, we are blessed this morning to have the Super International Band. Can we, can Yay! we have something to, 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 oh, yes, 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 yes. And thank you very much to our leader, uh, Sami. Uh, should I say Mr. Sami or Bra Sami? Ni uh, Sami. Ni Sami. <laughs> you said we are in uh, Africa month. Uh -huh. uh, Ghana month. Ghana month. Ghana month. Yes. Okay. So, Ni Ni Sami. Ni Sami. <laughs> oh, ni Tete. Ni Tete. We, we prefer Ni Tete. Okay. Yes, it's a beautiful name. And uh, I don't know everybody's names here, but I know that every Ga person is called Ni for a man and every lady is nah for a woman. So uh, today we want to talk more about Greater Accra region, but this is what surprised me the mm -hmm. most. Now when we talk about Greater Accra region, everybody thinks that because it's the capital, it's supposed to be the biggest region in the in, in Greater Accra. Mm. No, it's not, honey. Mm -hmm. It is actually <laughs> the smallest in administrative. <laughs> it is the smallest and it comes out surprising. Uh, it's the smallest in mm. terms of land size. Mm -hmm. And uh, today we want to talk more about the culture of Greater Accra region. Now, one thing you might not have known also is that it was formed in the year 1982. So wow. probably in July we'll celebrate uh, Greater Accra region. 23rd yes. of July is the birthday of Greater Accra region. What are you? I'm good, yourself. I'm fine, thank you. Well, Welcome. since we're doing Ghana mm. month mm. and using our names, you can also call me Natre, because that's my... Natre! Powerful! We are all playing <laughs> small now. We are taking it. Okay. That's my name. Okay. It's a guy. Okay. Henrietta Natre. Ajete. Ajete. Yep. Okay. What <laughs> That's the first gang girl. Oh. First girl for the, of the family. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So now okay. like, yes. Okay. Mm. So you had it. Like nah, Mensa okay. is like a third born. Right. Yeah. Third male yes, 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 born. Yes. 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 So, yes. Nah, mm -hmm. nah, okay. is the what no, is heavy for some that that okay. I wanted to be sure, I wanted to just you know, coin my mouth very well before I pronounce it, you know. Yeah, but it's, it's great, yeah. it's, it's, yes, it's, yes. it's a lovely name. Now, nah, okay. we yes. want to tour Great Akra region, you have right. done it beautifully. Tell us some mm -hmm. of the things that you have seen and what you're going to let the world know about Great Akra, right? So, I mean, Great Akra is that place that you find so many um, things, people, food, because it's very cosmopolitan, right? Mm -hmm. So first of all, if you want to talk Greater Accra region, um, Ghana for that matter, if you want to start, I don't think you should start from anywhere else aside the Black Star Square. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, even if you drop a photo right now of that place, everybody knows that you are in Accra or you are in Ghana. They call it so, a gateway to Africa. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a good place to start. We also have the Kwab Nkrumah Memorial Park. Mm -hmm. um, when you go there, you have a side guide who tells you the history about the place and all that. And then... Um, I heard you talk about a waterfall, which is something a lot of people don't know about Greater Accra region, mm -hmm. but we do have a waterfall here in Dodowa, mm -hmm. which is also called the Chinku Waterfalls. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful waterfall that a lot of people need to go and experience. We also have a museum in Ada. It's called the Chinchim Museum. And when you go there, you see, um, you see a representation of the men and women who went through slavery. So you see that like, statues of heads mm. and all of these things are there for you to experience. There's let, also a guide there to let, tell Let's you talk a little bit about the places that you have mentioned and okay. let's expand mm -hmm. the conversation a little bit. Okay. I'm talking about the Black Star Square. Right. What is so unique about that Black Star Square? You know, the Black Star Square is, is, is unique because that's a place where Nkrumah um, 
like the symbol of freedom, of peace, like as soon as you reach there. And I've taken a lot of, whether people from the diaspora, people from Europe, all around there, and there's that feeling that you get that, okay, this is freedom, indeed mm. this is justice. So mm. like, it, it's, it means a lot when you go there. And for a lot of people who haven't been who haven't climbed upstairs to go to the top, you can't actually go to the oh, top you can yes. go and to have the top. a beautiful view of like, of a suit, right? So mm -hmm. it's something you can do. That That's the symbolism of, of that. Mm. And I think everybody should go there at least once in your lifetime because we have a lot of people in our crowd who don't even um, know what the top looks like or mm. haven't been there mm -hmm. at all. So and then we go for the rep. Sorry, you yeah. want to say no, something? No, I, I, I side with you on that point, you know, the fact that we drive around there all the time, but yep. it's a different thing when you have to go there yes. and experience everything yes. there as well. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And try now, in the evening, though. We should try in the evening. Also. So why is it so important for everybody to visit the place? Because uh, we, we see the pictures, we see you know people stand there and take pictures however mm. like th there should be a reason why everybody right. should visit the black star square like i said you see we are coming from um, a place of and not to take us way back into history but a place of slavery before a place of um um us not being independent mm. as an in independent nation right so we are now independent, we are now um, a sovereign country, we are now um, Ghana as um, it is now, right? So when you go there, it's like, okay, this is, this is what it means to be free. Mm. For me, at least, when I go there, I, I see that, um, that image as, okay, we are coming from somewhere and this is where we are now, mm. right? Yes. Right. Now let's move to the Kwame Nkrumah Museum. Right. It's a beautiful place it and uh, the, the, his body's mm -hmm. still there. Yeah. Tell us a bit yeah, about so, that place as well. So, you know, the Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park is um, that place and for a lot of people who come to Ghana for the first time, they've heard so much about the first ever president of Ghana, right? And you want to connect with that. You want to see um, the man who you've read about, who you've been taught about in school as a child. And you want to see who's this man who built that Kosovo Dam, who did, um, you know, so many of these factories who that we hear about. Away. Exactly, mm. that we still use today. So to feel like, okay, I want to know a little bit more about the history of Ghana. That is mm. the place I mm. think everybody needs to go to, to hear about this man and what he means to Ghana as a nation. Right. right. Let's um, um, okay. thank you enough for staying and not tuning out. This is Prime Morning and it's the month of Ghana. We are celebrating Ghana and today specifically we are celebrating the Greater Accra region. When we talk about Ghana, we talk about Africa, we talk about culture and we talk about our herbs. A very, very vital thing uh, that people use to heal themselves but we don't know too much about it. And today we are preparing herbs right here in the studio. The fire is on, the pot is on it. I don't know what the ingredients in there are but once I get to talk to my guests they'll tell us everything that is in there. And I have two wonderful people here with us in the studio i have okoji ebibidro nana kojo obri nana kojo akwaba yeah. great and i also have mama g our very own mama g she's all over social media if you know her you know her mama g enterprise and her name is elizabeth togo welcome elizabeth thank you how are you today you. great yanka tree and yanka brofo let's go english let's go english yanka we will use Tree and even our dodge into Nkonya language. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, because we are celebrating Ghana Man. First of all, let's talk about what is in the port. So tell us what's in the port, Nana. Okay, thank you very much. Let me first of all take this opportunity to salute my gallant traditional medicine practitioners across the country, mm -hmm. especially the president of the Federation of Traditional Medicine Practitioners Association, and also my Omahine. The Omahini of Nkonya Rupon traditional era, Nana Kwaju Asia Kwa mm. Nana, I salute you. At this point, your question again. My question again. Yes. What is in the pot? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the pot, we are here this morning just to prepare some immune support system for Ghanaians. Mm. This home remedy. So, first of all, we use the first active ingredient mm -hmm. is 
um, we call it uh, Mundia. And then we call it uh, Obriku Aniwa. This is a herb that is used to support men with waist pain, chronic waist pain, okay. or general body pains. All right. And it boosts the immune systems. It also boosts your um, ability to perform as a man. Perform as a man, as uh, that, that That is, we are celebrating uh, Ghana man, so we should go traditional. We don't mention everything. You In perform as a man. Say, Oh, yeah, Bema. Oh, yeah, Bema. So that is there. Please give it to me. It is there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So I will show it up for okay. everybody to know. So to know them, the, the, the second okay. one, we also add what is popularly known as Aigbe Moja Dru. Aigbe Moja Dru. Aigbe Moja Dru. Okay. Yes, the Mundia Whitney is the botanical name of it. Mm. And then that one is also good for one pregnant women mm. people with what does chronic it do for pregnant women oh it helps them whenever they are in pregnancy it uh, boosts the blood for them okay so pregnant women can just take it and then they will not uh, go for any blood infusion okay. whenever they are going to deliver and, and can I have it? so we have brought it here also mm. and also is one of the biggest immune system support. Okay. When right. Corona came and we're having problems mm -hmm. in Ghana, these are some of the herbs we used and taught Ghanaians as home remedy. Mm. So which one is this one? This one is Aibe Moja. That's Aibe Moja. Okay. So. So it's for anemia, loss of appetite, palpitation wound. Right. And the herbalists okay. have his secret that we don't put on it. Okay, uh, so there's always a secret. To there's it. always a secret right. in herbalism. Mm. That one you can never change it. Okay, yes, right. Because what we use in Nkonya are not what the Ashantis also use for the same plant. Right. So there are secrets in it, it varies. Okay. Then we also have this as another um, plant mm. that we are using this today. This is the Indian liquor, liquor yeah. rice. Yeah. Okay. And it's for rheumatism, snake bite. Snake bite? Yes. Okay. Uh, contraceptive constipation. Yeah. I see. And